Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well and that you are moving into living life truly on your own terms and in your own narrative and that you are actively seeing and reinforcing our collective narrative because the story is changing. And I see sometimes in the comments that a lot of um, a lot of our brothers and sisters think give so much power to the to the Americas of this world. Those are the ones that we call Babylon. For you guys who are like, who is Babylon? Babylon? Come on, guys. Really? We don't have time for that. If you don't get who Babylon is, this is obviously the wrong channel for you because we talk in code. Uh, but, you know. I'm just going to let that go there. Special shout out to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We appreciate love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting us there. We do have many more videos, exclusive content, free eBooks. Um, so definitely consider joining us for as little as $5 a month. And thank you to everyone that sends us love donations. It definitely has kept us going, especially with the demonetization of YouTube family. We do have a secondary channel, Dr. Mumbi spiritual show, which is where we've been for the last year or so after this channel, we had a channel. <laughs> this channel was heavily um, shadow banned, but we brought back the news here. So we've revived this channel. Make sure you're still subscribed, family, and definitely check out our secondary channel, Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show. And of course, we have to start creating our own platforms, which is now what we feel even ready to even start concentrating on. But those are future stories. Family, so much is happening. So much is happening since the Niger coup so many wins for our people because the narrative is changing and because so many of us are here with our mobile phones with our with an, uh, keeping abreast of every story our presidents are no longer able to act in the dark on the on the backing of babylon and just do you know and do the bidding of babylon so it's almost like because the world is a stage and the motherland is a stage for all of us african citizens and our global extended family Stories are not going the way stories used to go. Before you'd see a coup and immediately after, the divided states of these worlds, the Frances of this world, the divided kingdoms of this world have moved in to shift that narrative very aggressively. But earlier we saw, you know, a lot of people say, I don't know, you know, I, don't, I haven't been following politics a lot, so I'm not very familiar with the new president of Nigeria. I'm even tired of all the president's family. But we saw the Nigerian president talking about how um, as requesting the Senate, apparently, for them to send in troops and invade um, Niger and reinstate the president by force. Do you think those were just his own imaginings? Or do you think he got instructions from above? I don't know, family. But it does look playbook African presidents from, you know, the beginning of these African presidents. Because it sounded more like he'd got an order because it didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for Nigeria to invade Niger because there's over 300,000 Nigerians. First of all, 300,000 Nigerian refugees are in Niger right now. And the president is out here saying, yo, we're going to invade. We're going to reinstate the president. Um... And we saw the people also, the Nigerian refugees who were stuck in Niger calling for, you know, evacuation, for a resettlement before the invasion happens. Showing you that the president, obviously, that, that's the furthest thing from his mind. But the Nigerian Senate came and said, nah, we're not invading. And in fact, we encourage the president to encourage the members of ECOWAS, which is the puppets of Babylon, who have been wanting to invade and everything. And of course, these presidents all have their selfish interests in wanting to restore a president because they're presidents. They're like, yo, if this is happening there, you know, Africans, we, we see something, we get inspired, we also do the same thing. They're like, yo, this could happen to me, so we should come down as hard as possible. I even saw a president of Kenya talking about how you know, Niger should give access to the president or something like that. 
and Knight have been playing hardball. The divided states. Remember, I think I did a, check out my previous show on the Niger coup, where I talked about how the divided states had actually, you know, requested to see the president. They were denied. So they now got into the, the media, the global media circulation of how it was difficult to get in touch with Niger, how it was difficult to talk to the coup leaders, because these guys are ready. Because when they were talking about how there'll be some kind of invasion, I think the Burkina Faso and the Mali generals just landed, like, yo, in solidarity. And a lot of you have said you feel, even me, there's an energy, especially that Burkina Faso general has family. These guys are just not operating just like that. We are in spiritual time, family. Some great warriors and kings and queens, gods and goddesses, leaders, transformers, transformationalists, whatever you want to call it, are here right now, family. Right here, right now. We are. We have a front row seat to events that are being watched galactically because that's how deep our connections go with the world beyond this hell on earth that they've created. And our narrative is changing, family. Our narrative is changing. And we have to push those stories because it's not so much about the story as it is about how does it impact our group consciousness. Every, let's learn from the Babylonians family. Every story should make us look good. Either we're the heroes or we're the overcomers, but something. We're not always being defeated. Let's learn that. Let's learn to celebrate our wins and to see them. Because if you're paying too much attention to Babylon, they'll make you think there's something wrong going on in Niger and the Americans need to come in and the French need to come in. And it's all about uranium family. It's all about natural resources. And these victories would not be happening if us collectively weren't so connected. And I feel that one thing that we're connected for as a global melanated people is our liberation must come. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. There's a shift in our consciousness, especially also because so many chosen ones are rising so high spiritually in their homes. So many secret generals, family. I'll definitely actually do a show on secret generals, which I'll post on my secondary channel, Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show, because I have split the two. So this is going to be more news, more Babylon, how Babylon is falling, more New World Order stuff. And then the secondary channel is going to be more spiritual, ascension, elevation. But don't sleep on the great rising and restoration on Africa, of Africa, family. Don't expect others to celebrate our wins. But when you see it, speak it loud, speak it proud, share it. And make sure you're liking these, this video, family. If you're watching, please click that like button. Although they, they also sometimes reverse those. But let's get the word out that Africa is awake and our narrative is changing. To Kopamoja.